up and coming in and the multi-pronged effort that is underway uh, by India's agencies. Uh, taking it over to my colleague Aisha Sindhu for more on that. Aisha? Yes, Molly. Uh, India is, of course, in a high state of preparedness uh, as it is gearing up for uh, Cyclone Fawny, uh, which is expected to make landfall uh, tomorrow. Uh, one of the latest alerts that we have in this respect is the fact that all flights starting uh, from midnight tonight uh, to Bhubaneswar have been cancelled. That's going to be in effect for the next 24 hours. Additionally, the Navy has already put out about uh, three ships to sea. Uh, each of these vessels is carrying relief material, medical aid, and uh, any sort of uh, you know, material that is going to be required for rescue and relief efforts. Uh, additionally, the, the Navy also has aircraft and helicopters on standby. As you mentioned, the NDRF has more than 50 teams already uh, deployed in case of any eventuality. This, of course, is mapping uh, the coastline not just along the eastern coast of the country, but as you can see, um, a cyclonic and wind movement uh, can cause disturbances in other areas as well. Uh, so the NDRF not taking any chances at all. Additionally, the Civil Aviation ministers asked all civilian airlines to uh, be on standby to perf uh, perform relief and rescue uh, efforts to aid any sort of uh, situation that might arise from Fawny. Uh, they've been asked to uh, pitch in, so to speak. Uh, so that is really speaking the latest in terms of how India is gearing up uh, for Cyclone Fawny. Like I mentioned, it is expected to make landfall uh, in the state of Odisha uh, tomorrow. All right, and we will, of course, keep a close eye on the latest coming in on that front. Aisha, thanks very much for the moment. Uh, as far as uh, the path is concerned, as Aisha just mentioned, uh, the cyclone is expected to make landfall in Odisha. Authorities are carrying out evacuations on a war footing in the low-lying coastal area. Cyclone Fawny is heading towards the state of Odisha with wind speeds in excess of 200 kilometers per hour. Is expected to make landfall on Friday. The storm is 450 kilometers away from the Odisha coast. The Indian Med Department has issued a yellow alert warning for Odisha, West Bengal and three districts of Andhra Pradesh. It is likely to move north-northeast towards uh, further and cross Odisha coast between Gopalpur and Chandbali around Puri on 3rd May afternoon. Sea conditions will be uh, phenomenal. Uh, storm surge warning has been issued. Uh, it is, will be 1.5 meter above astronomical tides. And fishermen advised not to venture into sea up to 4th. Officials have shut down operations at two major ports on the eastern coast. Thousands of rescuers are helping people evacuate from the low-lying areas. The NDRF battalions of South and Northeast India have been deployed for any emergency. The NDRF has deployed 28 teams in Odisha, 12 in Andhra Pradesh and 6 teams in West Bengal for relief and rescue work. Over 30 additional teams are on standby with boats, tea cutters, tree cutters, telecom equipment. 81 trains traveling to and from coastal cities have also been cancelled. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a high-level meeting to review the preparedness levels. The meeting was attended by several uh, high-level officials. The Prime Minister was brief briefed on uh, the likely path of the cyclone and the ongoing precautionary measures. Let's